What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tamer Shaheen and I'm a final year engineering student at the University of Waterloo. This video is a skit type video about the expectations versus reality of studying engineering. When you first start you obviously expect so much but as you get into it... You just hit with the reality of the situation. That's what I showcase in this video so I hope you enjoy it. Expectations. Today's gonna be such a productive day. Time for some yoga and meditation. Wow, I'm so glad I just finished my 50 page report. Time to get ahead and read the textbook. By the way, what time is it? Whoa, 2 p.m.? I'm early! Reality. Ugh. Yo, is the prof taking attendance in class today? Nah, no attendance today, fam. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take a day off. Um, can you send me a picture of your notes after class? Sure, but don't forget to hand in the assignment. Expectations. Alright, the deadline for this lab report's coming up soon. I should definitely get that start on it. There's only like four weeks left until it's due. Wow, I finished that pretty quickly. It's so much better to start earlier, isn't it? Isn't it? <sighs> Reality. Oh my god, okay, okay, I'm going crazy. What, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Maybe it's... You know what? Let's just focus. <clears throat> I can't even focus. Okay. Wait, when did we even learn how to do this? Maybe it's here? No! Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. It's useless. Okay. I have 45 minutes until this is due. Let me let me just ask someone. Fuck, this phone is dead. Okay. Okay. I'm so screwed. Mm -hmm. Expectations. For some materials, the transition between elastic and plastic deformation is very abrupt. The transition is known as the yield point phenomenon. As plastic deformation begins, stress value drops from an upper yield point as two and oscillates on an average value defined as lower yield point as one. Certain low carbon steels display this phenomenon, so does anyone want to tell me why they display this and how yield strength can be controlled? So would anyone like to answer that question? Any Anyone at all? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll answer that. Oh, we got a hand there, okay, let's go. What, what would you like to say? The material is expected to plastic to form at S1, but in small interstitial atoms, clusters around dislocations prevent slip, so dislocations don't slip until S2 is applied. Then dislocations move away from clusters and continue to slip at S1. That being said, yield strength can be changed by controlling dislocation motion by changing the grain size or altering the size of the alloying element. For a small alloying element, relative to the host element results in greater distortion, hence greater yield strength. However, if the alloying element size is the same as the host element, then there's no significant change in yield strength. Wow, that answer was just perfect. That, that was exactly what I was looking for. You know what? You know what? Because your answer was just so perfect, I, I've got an opportunity for you. I have connections with executives of some of the biggest tech companies in the world. So come through by my office and I'll get you interviews with companies like Facebook, Google, Apple, Microsoft. I know you need that work experience and that co-op credit, right? Right? Alright, anyways, come through. Uh, send me an email. You know what? You don't even send me an email. Here's my phone number. Call me anytime and I got you. This is such an easy class, right? Yeah, he offered me an internship last lecture too. Reality. Alright class, today we're going to discuss the yield point phenomenon. Uh, but before that, let's go through Newton's laws. You know, very basic question. Uh, can anyone tell me the equation for Newton's second law? Anyone? Uh, anyone? I mean, you should know this from high school. How about you? Uh, you looking a bit sleepy over there. Do you know the answer? You, you in the red hoodie, what's the answer? Yeah, yeah, you, what's the answer? Stop looking back, I'm, I'm talking to you and no one else behind you. Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, what's the um, equation? Um, v equals IR? Well, that's correct. Wait, really? No, it wasn't, you fool. You just embarrassed yourself in front of everybody in the lecture. 
Make sure you pay attention next time. Do you, do you understand what's happening in this lecture? No idea, man. My notes, my notes are just a blank page. Expectations. G good morning, sir. I, ho I hope you had a great weekend. Good morning, Tamer. How can I help you today? I'm one of the new interns joining the company for the summer. I was wondering if I can be in charge of designing the chassis of the car we're releasing in September. I have a really innovative idea that I just like to run by to see if we can implement it. I mean, according to my calculations, it should be able to make the vehicle more aerodynamic and reduce drag by 15%. That idea sounds fantastic. You know what? I want you to lead this project. Really? Yes, of course. You're a student. You gotta learn somehow. You know, you young engineers are our future. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If I don't give you the chance now to put your innovative ideas into action, then how else will you become a successful engineer? Alright, great. So, we'll go ahead with my idea. Reality. Good morning, sir. I, ho I hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, Mondays, am I right? Yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm one of the new interns here on the vehicle engineering team, and I have a pretty cool idea that I just like to run- Wait, wait, wait. D did you say intern? Uh, yeah, I I'm one of the interns. Yeah, I'm the vehicle engineering team. You know what? You're gonna tell me you have an incredible idea that somehow reduces our costs and makes the cars 10 times faster? You know what? If another intern comes by to tell me about one more idea that'll change the world, then- I'm just gonna lose it. But I've had 10 of you interns come by to tell me about some revolutionary idea that you had, and you know what, you know what, I'm quite sick of it. How about you make yourself useful and go make me some coffee? All right, sure, uh, no problem. So sorry for bothering you, I'll, I'll just head out. By the way, for your coffee, sir, would you like it light roast or dark roast? 